All right, so today we're diving into something really interesting. We're talking WhatsApp, but not just how, you know, we use it. We're looking at Cameroon. Yeah, Cameroon, WhatsApp, they're like super connected. More than you'd think. Way more. And lucky for us, we've got Cheju Camdem's 2024 study. The guy's a bit of a legend in African community management, so no fluff here, just real insights. Straight to the good stuff. Exactly. So what we really want to figure out is, what's the deal with WhatsApp in Cameroon? How are people actually using it? Is it that different from how we use it? Well, one of the things that really stood out to me right off the bat was the gender balance thing. Oh, yeah, right. In 2023, it was mostly guys on there. Exactly now. It's almost 50-50. Women are on WhatsApp in Cameroon. Big time. That's wild. In just a year. What's causing that? I any ideas. It's the million dollar question. Could be a bunch of things. Maybe better access to phones. Maybe women are more involved in the economy now. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Or even, you know, just how society is changing there. Whatever it is. Yeah. It's huge for women in Cameroon, both socially and in terms of like business and stuff. Totally. It's amazing to see how technology reflects those shifts. Absolutely. Speaking of shifts, get this. 81%. A whopping 81% of Cameroonians, they open WhatsApp as soon as they wake up. I mean, that's like first thing. Yeah, no kidding. Like grabbing your phone is as natural as, I don't know, brushing their teeth. Exactly. So, I mean, what does that tell us about how vital the app is to their lives? It's everything. Think about it. In lots of Cameroon, Internet access is basically your mobile data. So WhatsApp is their connection to news, their way to talk to people, even how they do business. It's their everything app, it sounds like. Pretty much. And speaking of being connected, get this, 45% straight up admit to being, like, addicted. Yeah. Addicted to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Even more than last year. That's a lot. You do have to wonder, where's the line? At what point does it go from being, like, a useful tool to being too much? That's the question, isn't it? Is it really addiction, like what doctors would say? Or is it just how ingrained it is in their day-to-day? -day? It's yeah, complicated. For sure. Now, here's something I didn't expect. Even though usage is through the roof, video calls down. Yeah. Like, actually less than in 2023. Wait, really? I thought video calls were, like, all the rage. What's going on there? It's a head-scratcher, right? Could be data costs. Could be the network isn't always great. Or maybe, and this is just me thinking out loud, maybe they just prefer texting or voice notes. Yeah, especially with, you know, text still being the top dog, even with voice notes becoming a thing. Exactly. Yeah. Just goes to show what we think is the next big thing it doesn't always translate everywhere the same way. Literacy, languages, how much data costs, it all factors in. It's like a whole different world of communication. Exactly. And speaking of different, it seems Cameroon's kind of split down the middle on if they could handle a day offline. Nearly half said no way. It's that whole economic reliance on WhatsApp. Yeah. I mean, 80%, four out of five users are buying stuff through WhatsApp. It's not just chatting. It's how they make a living. Wow. So we're talking about businesses, entrepreneurs, everyone's on it. Everyone and their grandma. If you're a business looking at Cameroon, got to be on WhatsApp. No question. So basically, if you had to sum it all up, WhatsApp in Cameroon, it's not just an app. It's, it's everything. A lifeline to the world, how they do business, how they connect. It makes you wonder, though, right? What happens if, just like that, WhatsApp disappears? Yeah. Gone. How do they talk to each other? How do they buy and sell? What happens to their connection to the rest of us? It's a good question. Something to think about. Thanks for this. It's been enlightening, to say the least. Anytime. Always happy to talk about this stuff.